It was a violent holiday weekend around the city, leaving five people dead. Fox 5's Robert Moses joins us live from Harlem, where a man was shot and killed there over the weekend. Good morning, Robert. Tashani, good morning to you. That man was shot inside of this smoke shop here in Harlem, just steps away from landmarks like the Apollo and Red Rooster and Sylvia's. And take a look at this. Police just sent us this new video of the man who police believe shot and mortally wounded the victim. In less than 42 hours in the city over the weekend, five men were fatally shot or stabbed across three boroughs. Police say last night, right before 8, a 36-year-old man, whose name police have not yet released, was shot in the head inside of a smoke shop on Lenox Avenue in Harlem. He was taken to Harlem Hospital and pronounced dead. I'm fed up with all of this. I don't understand why they can't talk things out. Why it's got to be killing each other. A little more than five and a half hours earlier in Coney Island, police say 23-year-old Christian Vargas, who lived in Brooklyn, was stabbed in the torso. Video posted on Citizen App captured the scene. He was taken to NYU Langone Hospital, Brooklyn, where he was pronounced dead. The police are out here doing their investigation right now. On Saturday afternoon, video on Citizen App captured the scene of another homicide in Harlem. Police say 19-year-old Jalen Duncan, who lived in Harlem, was shot in the head near near Madison Avenue and East 132nd Street. He was taken to Harlem Hospital but did not survive. A little more than two hours earlier, police say 83-year-old Ramon Cintrone was found with stab wounds to his neck and right arm inside of an apartment in Wyckoff Gardens, a NYCHA complex in Borum Hill. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Police believe this man, Giovanni Vale, killed Cintrone. Vale is also wanted for slashing a woman on Nevin Street about an hour before police say he killed Cintrone. About like 5 to 5.30, he's always here, plays a scratch off. He's a great person, you know, I consider him like a grandfather. And early Saturday morning, police say 23-year-old Javon Jeminson of North Lauderdale, Florida, was found on the ground on Merrick Boulevard in St. Albans, unconscious and unreal responsive with multiple gunshot wounds to his torso. He was taken to Jamaica Hospital and pronounced dead. Just last week, top NYPD brass touted a reduction in several crime categories, including murders. So far, no arrests in any of these five killings. Tishani, back to you. This is the book of Amos, chapter 5, verse 24, and it reads this. But let judgment run down as waters and righteousness as a mighty stream. Double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akium out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners, and shalom to the Aquaf, sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures said to do so. This is the book of Amos, chapter 5, verse 24. But let judgment run down as waters, and righteousness as a mighty stream. And that's what we see happening upon the earth, man. Judgment running down like a waterfall, man. Okay, and righteousness, man, because everything that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah is doing upon the earth is righteous and balanced, man, all together and justified. Okay, and you know uh, this the clip that you uh, the prior clip that you saw was a clip from uh, Easter Sunday, Easter Easter weekend. Okay, that a uh, pagan holiday. Okay, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah took out a lot of people on that wicked, abominable, filthy holiday, man. Okay. And it was all Jake's, okay? And I believe that was in uh, New York, uh, New York City, if I'm not mistaken. But that's what we're seeing, man. We're seeing these judgments run down like water, man. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is consuming the earth, man. And we also know and see that our people are wicked, okay? They're uh, 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 defiled, okay? They're, their minds and their spirit and their mental, everything about our people is, is highly polluted, man, okay? Let's grab this real quick. Is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 4, verse 22, and it reads this. For my people is foolish, okay, 
they have not known me, okay? Because they don't know Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. They reject the Lord, man. Okay, the Lord has, has his prophets set up right now telling you to come back to him, telling you to repent, telling you to uh, uh, change your ways, to stop, you know, transgressing and sinning against your power, your father, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, man. But our people are foolish, stupid, remedial, man. Have no uh, uh, sense of uh, uh, righteousness, man. No sense of uh, 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 balanced judgments. No sense of anything, man. Our people are consumed in wickedness, man. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish. And that word sottish goes back to stupid, man. Okay? They are sottish children. And they have none understanding. And the understanding is being pushed out through the prophets. The Lord is speaking through his men. Okay, but what do you Israelites do? You reject it. Okay, you want to be so-called Africans. When, when, the, when the native Africans ain't even African, they're Hamites. Okay, you want to be Ishmaelites. Okay, you want to follow uh, 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 that, that cover stone, uh, uh, the nation of Islam, etc., man. You want to be uh, uh, Moab and Ammon. When all these nations hate your fucking guts, they hate you. The only thing that they like about you is receiving your money, man. That's it. They have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, as we see every day. As you see when you go to the store, as you see on social media platforms, as you see at work, everywhere you go, our people are committing some type of wickedness, man, some type of evil, man. Okay? They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge, man. And where do you get, where do you get that knowledge from? Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Okay, but the Lord's not going to come off his throne. No, he's going to speak through his prophets, man. But our people keep on rejecting, okay, the true gospel, the true good news, man. Okay, but yet, let Esau hit the highways and the byways and tell you this and that. You'll have Jake everywhere lined up listening to the message, man. But since it's your own people, okay, and those curses are applied to our, to our nation, you know, the curses in Deuteronomy 28. You know, you have that hatred towards your brother. You have no love towards your brother. Okay, you look you look at us as, as criminals. Okay, you look at the men of Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shah as criminals, man. And you look at the enemy as your as your savior, as your as your, like as your saviors. Okay, as the uh the ones with the true knowledge, man. That's how it is, man. Let's grab this real quick. This is the book of Saint John. Uh St. John 3, uh, chapter 1, I'm going to read verse 11. Beloved, follow not that which is evil, which our people do. They follow the customs, the blueprint, and the uh, uh, authority of Esau, man. Our people have cleaved on to the ways of the heathen, man, and rejected the true teachings and the true understanding of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay? Beloved, follow not that which is evil, but that which is good. He that do with good is of the most high, man. And our people think what they've been taught for, for decades upon decades upon decades, generation upon generation, they believe what they've been taught by the oppressor is good. And what we're speaking is evil. But it's actually the opposite, man. Because they want you, they want to keep you away from your father, your power. They want to make sure that you keep on sinning. And they keep on winning, man. Yes, you heard me, nigga. They want to make sure you keep on sinning and they going to keep on winning. Okay? With you down, they going to be ruling, ruling the towns, man. Okay? Point blank period. But you know, what, you know what I'm saying, man. Okay? That's the main goal, man. And all these heathens know who we are. But you don't, man. Okay? But love, follow not that which is evil, but that which is good. And what is good? Okay? The men of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah is giving you that 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 good news, the 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 good report, but you reject it. And furthermore, also because the Lord don't want you, He's blocked your uh, uh, your eyes from seeing it. He's blocked your mind from receiving it. He's blocked your ears from hearing it, man. Okay. He that do with good is of the Most High, but he that do with evil have not seen the Most High. And these are the same niggas, the same bad bitches, the same uh, uh, fake thugs. From every single captivity, man, from Egypt until now, man, those the same people back now, man. Okay, uh, uh, a lot of uh, two thirds of can't get rights, man. 
Okay, that's going to be judged, man. Matter of fact, let's read it, man. Because that's what we're seeing, man. You're seeing judgment, man. And call law, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah Hashem, and man. These niggas got to go. Two thirds have got to go, man. Period, man. I'm tired of seeing Jake, man. Even you niggas are claiming to be the truth, trying to come up some other way and spewing madness, man. Vomit. You got to go too, man. A lot of you motherfuckers don't fear Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, man. And we're gonna we're gonna see how you congregations really uh, feel about when the Lord starts judging your leaders, man. Okay, because we know the wicked of our people that don't come back to the Lord, re been receiving that judgment. But wait, but wait till First Peter chapter four verse seventeen comes into the uh, the, uh, the 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 teachings, the teachers, man, the false prophets, man. Okay, so lock here. Let me grab this. This is the book of Ezekiel. I know this nigga want to come out and smoke a cigarette, man. Jake, fucking get on my nerve, man. Nosy ass niggas, man. This is Ezekiel chapter 7, starting off at verse 7. The morning is come unto thee, O that dwellest in the land. The time is come, the day of trouble is near, and not the sounding again of the mountains. And we see those days, man. That, 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 that judgment, that trouble is coming, man. Okay, the dollar's falling. You see uh, the curses are uh, turning on up upon our enemies. You see uh, 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 all these other nations going against uh, 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 America, Babylon. You're seeing war literally a step away, literally a step away. You're seeing that uh, that new currency about to be established. It's already been uh, uh, formatted. It's already been structured. Matter of fact, it's starting right now, but it's really going to be 100% in July. Okay. The the, the 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 U.S. currency, that paper currency that has nothing to back it up besides its military might, is done, man. Okay. Now will I shortly pour out my fury upon thee and accomplish my anger upon thee, and I will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense thee for all thine abominations. And that's what you how about Shem is doing, man. He's judging. I'm talking to our people first and foremost, man. Because that's what the video was about. Our people were getting judged, you know, uh, uh, partaking in these pagan ass, ruthless, abominable, filthy, wicked ass holidays, man. You get what you deserve, man. OK, ain't, ain't no love for the wicked over here, man, whether it be our people or the heathen, and especially the damn heathen, man. And you, and that matter of fact, Salaki, especially you two thirds, man, because our people are wicked, man. OK, you, you, you the people of our. Of our nation, especially ones that claim you in the truth, you add on to the affliction, man. Okay? Verse 9. And mine eye shall not spare, neither will I have pity. As we saw, man, the Lord is not having pity on Jake. But guess it's going to be even worse when Jacob's trouble is here, when martial law has been declared, when the FEMA camps are up and running fully. Okay? When the famine of the word is here, famine of food. You got to go to Esau for the one of all things. You got to literally bow down to him. Okay. The pestilence, all types of diseases that the Lord is going to use Esau to uh, 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 push forth. You know, all types of stuff, man. I will recompense thee according to thy ways and thine abominations that are in the midst of thee. And ye shall know that I am Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, that smite of thee. And we're going to see that, man. I guess he walking around, fucking, and we're gonna see that man. Just like you saw that video of that Jake in uh, California asked that um, <clears throat> and it's crazy too, cause he asked Jake, you know, what I'm saying you homeless, yeah. What's your name? Israel. Hey man, the Lord is showing signs, but the dude said his name was Israel, and you had this also goes into what I'm saying right now. You have our people out here doing wicked shit, man. He went in there, bought some abominable food, you know, with that swine and shit, and ate that food in front of that man, man. And literally ate that fruit in front of that man. You think the Lord ain't, ain't going to... I hope and pray that Yahweh Hashem Yahushua make that dude starve, man. And what does it say in the scripture? Slack you. It's the, the Lord wants that to be spoken of right now. So let me grab this real quick. What does it say in the scriptures about famine? This is Lamentations chapter 4, verse 9. They that be slain with the sword, okay? They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger, man. OK, because the Lord is going to make you suffer. They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. For these pine away stricken through for the want of the fruits of the field, man. That's going to be horrific 
a, 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 a death, man. You're going to suffer, man. Your, 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 your stomach is literally going to be eating everything inside your body, man. Okay? Well, Salaki, you know, the spirit had me bring that up real quick. Let's continue. Let's go to uh, Titus. Because our people are consumed with this world, man. Our people are uh, mentally, physically, spiritually defiled, man. Corrupted, man. Okay? Our people literally don't even take, you know, as it says in Proverbs uh, 14, verse 15, I want to say, uh, the prudent man, uh, uh, let's just grab it because I don't want to butcher it. And that's what we do, man. We 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 uh, research everything, you know, so we can make sure we're uh, going about everything correctly. Uh, this is Proverbs 14, verse 15. The simple believe if every word, and that's how people, man, they believe everything that Esau and the heathens tell them, man. You know, there's nothing wrong with you, you know, this is a righteous holiday, this and that, blah, blah, blah. They don't even question anything. They don't even uh, research or, or or look for the true uh, uh, meaning of words or understanding of anything that they were taught. But the prudent man looketh well to his going. Okay, the simple believeth every word, but the prudent man looketh well to his going, man. And and, and that's the hopeful elect, man. Okay, we're gonna uh, we're gonna research. We're gonna uh, you know keep that scope, and we're gonna um, make sure what we're speaking and make sure what we're uh, 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 so like it. Make sure what we're speaking and make sure what what was taught was real. Okay, and we know what we were taught in this uh, society is bullshit, man. Okay, so let me read this real quick. This is the book of Titus, chapter 1, verse 15. On to the pure are, are all things pure, and that's us, man, because, you know, the Lord has awakened us and breathed that life back into us, man. So, you know, we understand how to govern ourselves amongst our people, how to be in this society, man, how to use this world and not abuse this world, how to love one another, Okay. You know, and, uh, you know, just, you know, and we don't walk of the flesh. We walk of the spirit as much as possible, man. You know, so we're not going to be carnal minded because the carnal minded is enmity with the most high. And that leads you to death, man. And and, and the flesh cannot please the most high. OK. Onto the pure are all things pure, but onto them are sorry, but onto them that are defiled and unbelieving, which is two thirds of our people, man, who the Lord don't want. They're defiled. They're impure. Okay. Uh, 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 they're contam uh, contaminated. They're corrupted, man. And they don't believe. They believe what they oppress to tell them. They don't believe what we tell them. They, they look at us as niggas, man. They look at us as nobodies. They look at us as bums. Okay. They call us racist, this and that, blah, blah, blah. And yes, we are racist, man. And being racist just means you're for your people, man. Okay. And, uh, are pure, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving, nothing is pure. But even their mind and conscience is defiled, man. That's why our people are, you know, can't think straight, can't make a righteous decision, can't uh, really take heed to uh, logic or consider their actions or the repercussions for what they do, man. Okay? Be not deceived. The Most High is not mocked. For, whatever, uh, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap, man. It may not be today, it may not be tomorrow, but you reap what you sow, man. Period, man. Okay, Colossians 3, verse 25. Uh, 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 roughly paraphrasing, that man shall receive for the wrong which he have done. And there are no respecter of persons, man. And this is this is the beginning of uh, Zechariah, of this precept right here. Let's read this. This is the beginning of that precept, man, because our people are, are it's like, yeah, I'm excited. Our people are, are and is as the sand of the sea and of the stars of heaven, man. We can be numbered nor measured. So this is Zechariah 13, verse 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, okay, Babylon and across the four corners of the earth, because again, we're scattered. Our people are amongst all nations. And again, we can be numbered or measured. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, Two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. Okay, and we hope and pray to be a part of the one third. And inside that one third, you have 144,000. Okay, so the true, sincere, beloved Akim, elder apostles, elder bishops, elders on down. Okay, we're working to be a part of that table with Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. You know, Adawan Rat Desai, we, we get to have a seat at that table, but if we don't, 
we hope and pray to have a, a seat in a chariot amongst the one thirds, man. Either way. Salak you. Salak you. Let's keep on going. I got a couple more scriptures. Because, you know, we, we know, like I said, man, we know how to govern ourselves amongst our people. We know how to uh, uh, go about things, you know, uh, amongst the brotherhood and how to live and how to talk to one another and how to show you know, respect and love. Okay, um, let's grab this real quick. Because our people don't have these uh, traits. Our people don't have these instructions, man. Because they, of of they go off of what Esau and this world has taught them, man. Okay, seek out vengeance, man. Okay, always get, you know, your payback. Okay, that's that's the mentality of Esau, man. So two-thirds of our people may be Israelites by blood, but spiritually and mentally, they're Edomites, man. They are, as it says in uh, John 8, verse 44, ye are of your father the devil. Okay, period, man. So this is the book of Romans 13, verse 10. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Okay. And those the people that you saw in those videos, you know, the mug shots of some of the people they got and the jakes that died, they didn't have love towards their neighbor, man. There's no love nowhere amongst the two thirds, man. Regardless if they're in the same gang, everything else, there's still no love, man. It's a delusion, man. Okay, because at one point you all about the same thing. Okay, but as soon as you cross one another, because you don't have, you know, the righteous guidance of your about shimmy how how to be amongst your brother how to you know reciprocate you know uh uh that that true loyalty that true dedication that true brotherly love towards your brother man you don't have that so once you know uh, you cross one another you know it's lights out it's it's you know either either you going you going to be judged or i'm going to be judged man okay love worketh no ill to his neighbor therefore love is the fulfilling of the law and that's true man and our people don't have that, man. Okay, again, you might be in a gang or something, whatever the case may be. But as soon as one of one of you, one of one of y'all cross one another, it's a wrap. There's no loyalty. There's no dedication. There's no guidance. No structure. No balance. No anything, man. And that's why this this is just one of the reasons amongst a million why the Lord is taking out two thirds of our people, man. Okay, and he's justified, man. Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah is justified, man. So let's close out here, man. Because you know, again, man, this this all happened on Easter, Easter weekend. You know, that abominable, filthy ass holiday, man. And our people, man, you know, love, love, love to be partakers in these uh wicked ass holidays, man. Filth days, man. So this is the book of Jeremiah 44. Because, you know, you've been warned and you're going to keep on being warned until the Lord takes his prophets off the streets, man. You know, but let's read this. Uh, and why and why I'm saying this right now, you know, this is man, Koholo, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, or Kakradash. Why I'm saying this right now, Elder Yasha Wamba literally just posted a video saying Easter is, Easter is a pagan holiday. That's the spirit, man. It's one mind, one body, man. Koholo, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, or Kakradash. Jeremiah 44, starting off at verse 3. Because of their wickedness, which they have committed to, to provoke me to anger, in that they went to burn incense and to serve other gods whom they knew not. Because, again, our people don't research nothing. They don't see what this is about, what, that, what that's about. They believe what Esau and these other fucking heathens have told them. And they run with it. No research. No studying. No, no, to no, uh, no, anything to see how this came about, where it surfaced from. Nothing. Let me read that again, man. Because of their wickedness, which they have committed to provoke me to anger, in that they went to burn incense and to serve other gods. And that's what you're doing. You're serving other gods in these pagan, abominable holidays, man. Okay. Whom they knew not, neither they, it's like a, neither they, Ye nor your fathers, man. Because all this is, you know, you know, it's a somewhat of repeats, but it's, you know, been uh, 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 elevated in this uh, captivity, man. Because this is our last captivity, and this is the worst captivity, man. And, then, you know, it's, this, is the, this is the worst captivity we've been in. Because every captivity, for one, every captivity, we knew who we were. Okay? We knew who we were. Okay? And then this one, we didn't. Verse 4. Howbeit I sent to you 
all my servants, the prophets, what the Lord is doing now, rising early and sending them saying, oh, do not this abominable thing that I hate. And we give you the facts. We give you the evidence. We give you the proof. Why? Because we do our research. And that goes back to Proverbs 14, verse five. Look it up. I'm not going, I'm not going to quote it or read it again. Look it up. That goes back to Proverbs 14, verse five. Because um, me personally, which I, I can say, you know, for the brothers that I do know, we're not going to sit right here and just talk out of our ass and not know what we're saying. OK. Verse five, but they hearken not, nor incline their ear to turn from their wickedness to burn no incense onto other gods. They don't want to hear that, man. I don't want to hear that, man. You racist, man. You you hate you hate the, uh, the so-called white man. You hate them. The, the, the Lord is about love. This and that, that and this. Cool, no problem. I ain't going to argue with you niggas. No problem. The Lord, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shah, see us giving you the message. You reject it. You think you're rejecting us, but you're rejecting the Lord, man. No problem. I warned you. Ezekiel 3, verse 17 on down, I warned you. No problem. I'm not going to argue with a reprobate, foolish, remedial nigga, man. Okay, verse 6. Wherefore, my fury and my anger was poured forth and was kindled in the cities of Judah. And remember, Israel is a people before a place. So this could this, you know, this right now is talking about where our people are at. Was kindled in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem. And they are wasted and desolate as as at this day. And as, as you see, man, our people are getting judged left and right, man. Okay? But it's gonna be it's gonna hit hard, real hard, when all hell break loose, when the Lord takes his men off the streets. Okay? Therefore. Now thus saith Yahweh, the power of hosts, the power of Israel, wherefore commit ye this great evil against your souls to cut off from you man and woman, child and suckling out of Judah to leave you none to remain. There's no hope for the two thirds, man, on this end. There's hope for you in the kingdom when you come back. Because you'll come back in, in, in your in a righteous mind. You'll know the Lord. You'll have you'll have it. You'll, you'll be born with it. But right now, there's no hope for you, man. It's already been signed and sealed. Two thirds are going to be put to death, man. You know, as Elder Apostle Tahar say, you know, including the body, Babylon is nothing but a big altar for the one third of Israel, man. That's all this is, man. A lot of blood was shed here. Okay. Verse eight, and we'll close out here. And that ye provoke me unto wrath with the works of your hands. And that ye provoke me unto wrath with the works of your hands, man. Okay, and you don't even know that you that you committing so much stuff with these five fingers, man. So like your four fingers and one thumb. But you know what I mean. You don't even realize it, man. Burning incense onto other gods in the land of Egypt. And what's the new land of Egypt? Babylon, man. Okay, which is fashioned into a whole bunch of captivities all into one. Okay, what does Babylon mean? Confusion, man. Whether ye have been gone to dwell, that ye might cut yourselves off, that ye might be a curse and a reproach among all the nations of the earth. And two-thirds of our people are, man. Because I'm going to tell you like this, when they come across... You know, the men that's out here doing the work and the men that know what's going on, they see a different spirit in us than they do in the rest of our people, man. And what do they say? Well, you're not like you're not like the rest of the uh the blacks here in America. You're not you're not like a, a regular Hispanic, or you're not like a regular uh a, a Native American, you know. Teach his own, man. It's a different type of spirit on the men of Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shah, man. You know? There's been plenty of times I went to gas stations and stuff like that, and people would just say hi to me. They would just gaze at me like, oh, man, hey, how you doing, sir? But that's another lesson for another time, man. But um, we're going to leave it right there, man. Hey, man, judgment is running down his waters, man. Y'all keep on taking heed to these uh, pagan holidays, man. And the Lord going to keep on jacking y'all up, man. Point blank, period, man. No remorse, no, no, no sympathy, no pity. And the Lord's not going to spare his wrath or his vengeance on the two thirds of Israel, man. Okay? So, Lord willing, I hope and I pray that this is edifying, uplifting, and informative to the true sincere Akim Wa Akwaf. So, with that, I'm just going to say, Shalom.